Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to manually update your Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. We'll be manually updating the system with a computer without losing the data, which is great. Um, and that process will be quite complex and make sure you follow it exactly because if you don't then you will lose the data so follow it as exactly as you can and um, it's used in different scenarios if something's not working on your system if you can't update normally uh, automatically through the settings because something's not working then you can follow this video so let's begin let's go to the settings and check a few things uh, at first we'll need to go to the about phone and um, make sure that we know our modal name of course your modal name may be a little bit different because you may have a different version than me but uh, make sure you know it in my case it's sm g 990 b2 so i will be downloading that but if you have a different modal then you should also um, search for your model, not for mine. Now, software information, and there is going to be the kernel version and the baseband version. And it's important that at first you have the model, of course, uh, G990B2, then double X, then a letter like S or U, it doesn't matter. And after that letter is B or any other letter or number. So we need to pay attention to the second letter after double X. It's B in my case, which means this is my software revision. I cannot downgrade my software, but I can upgrade it to a newer one. So if I have B, I could get C, D, E, and so on. Um, if you have like, because the revisions go from 1 up to 9 and then after that a b c in alphabetical order so this is the 11th revisions because it's 9 then a which is 10th and b which is 11th and <clears throat> you can upgrade to c d e f and so on if you also have b like in my case um, so this is important to know your revision and also what is important is to check service provider software version you can see in my case it's TPL so since it is TPL I will be downloading TPL so nothing changes in the system to make sure that our system will be fully working now let's go to our computer and let's, let's go to a browser um, and first search for our modals firmware so it's gonna be G990B2 firmware and you can see I'm going to this website you can go to any website I'm just going to do this one because I uh, I'm using it the most and uh, it has the fastest download speeds now let's search for uh, CSC which in my case is TPL so I will be getting TPL and now the revisions we have revisions listed here and I need to get the B. You can see there are three different B, rev B or newer, of course. Uh, I could get F, but I can't get A. But if you have B from uh, 2025, uh, April 01, then you can get B from 2025, 0301, but it will make you lose your data. Uh, but getting A is completely impossible. So, um, I won't be updating, I will be getting the same version that I already have, so I will be getting the B from March, because you can also check like which date you have by checking the full model, uh, full version name, so I will be getting the same version name as this one, but I could have gotten something newer, not older. So let's get it, let's click on it. And now let's click on either this one or this one um, and let's start downloading. Uh, you can click on download here. I won't be doing that because I already have the program, uh, like have the file downloaded. Now go to hardreset.info uh, because you'll need a few things from there. So let's click on download. If there's an ad, just close it. Um, okay. 
So let's go to the download. Let's go to Samsung drivers, click on download and click on download here. It's going to download it. Now also go to Odin. Uh, 3.14.4, click on download and click on download here. Now we'll have all the files downloaded. Once we have all the files downloaded, I'll actually delete the, that. Mm, hold on a second. I'll just make sure everything is fine. Now let's right click on all the files here um, to make sure that uh, let's right click and extract it. Although remember that not all of these files will you'll be able to extract. So if you aren't able to extract it by clicking extract all, then download a program win-rar.com if you don't have it download it for free you can use it for free um, and then right click I'm using the winrar so I'm just gonna go to winrar extract to and it's gonna extract it to a folder let's go with all the files let's do the same mm, extract to okay and now the last one is being extracted currently. Go to Samsung USB drivers, double click here and install it. Go through all the installation steps. Once it's installed, remember to restart your computer. It is super important. If you don't restart it, it won't work. Um, then go to add in, go to that, go to the exit file, click on OK. And now we are in add in. So um, while the files are getting unpacked, we can begin to put our phone into download mode. So first you'll need to shut your phone down, click on power off and click on power off again. Now get a cable handy. Um, <clears throat> and make sure that your cable supports a data transfer because not all cables are built the same and some don't support it. Um, but most of them do, the better ones do. Um, and we'll need to put our phone in download mode. So the cable needs to be already plugged into the computer, not yet to the phone. Press and hold on both volume keys and plug in the cable in the meantime. Hold for a moment. If nothing shows up on the screen, start holding the power button as well until you can see something on the screen. Now we have this warning. Just click on volume app shortly and you are in the download mode. It will be indicated by uh, this blue rectangle showing up in, in one of these uh, COM ports here. So I have it here, which means my phone is connected. My file is already extracted, so I can go to BL, go to Downloads, go to the folder. And now I can select the BL file. Let's click on Open. AP file and let's select the AP file and click on open. This file is going to load for a little bit longer. Okay, as you can see, it is loaded. Let's load the file that begins with CP. And now there's going to be a very important part in CSC. Load the file that begins with home CSC. Because if you load the CSC standard file, then it's going to erase your data. So select the home CSC version, click on open. Wait for a moment, it is going to load. And now once we have everything loaded, click on start and it should go through. You shouldn't have an error. If you have an error, then it's either due to your cable being not right uh, or your computer. You maybe haven't restarted your computer after installing the drivers. That may be the problem. Or another thing is if you got the wrong revision. If you got the wrong revision um, file, then you won't be able to install it. It'll give you an error and it will, it, it will even have a red text right here uh, that um, <clears throat> it'll say, for example, fused 12 binary 11 or any other num numbers. Fused 12 means that the current version on the phone is uh, revision C and binary 11 means that um, you are trying to install B on a phone that already has C and you cannot do that because you cannot downgrade. I'm going to get back to when it's done and we'll see everything. Okay, and as you can see, it is almost done. So let's wait for the phone. It will automatically restart and everything will be done. 
so you can unplug your phone from the computer already if you want. Um, it'll take a little moment. Now it's set erasing, which is quite interesting. I hope it doesn't erase. Yeah, even though it's set erasing, it's it's working. It's set up so like it's all in the place. Everything is where it should be. So uh, don't worry about that. Uh, <coughs> And that is done. Your phone is updated. I hope that the video was helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.